get wet like the weather. I dig like a shovel, I'm digging you. Say what up, she say whatever. The keys in her strap on her dress. I said she the hard, so be careful. That nigga got cut off a set of them. Suckin' she fuck me so extra. I told her that shit be so clever. I do not like regular. And she hate me when she so But she love me when she be with Stella. Stella. And ain't no other time for us better than right now. Like right now. I know you don't love me, but fuck, I want you. I want you. A special bond that they never ever come between us. Between I us. know you can't stand me, love how you throw me, fuck like you love me. Ooh. And ain't no other time for us better than right now. Like right now. I know you don't love me, but fuck, I want you. I want you. A special bond that they never ever come between us. Between I us. know you can't stand me, love how you throw me. The vibe is slow, steady, and full of motivation. You understand me? I am not going to keep y'all for a long time, just a good time. If you catching this later on this evening, I want you to know. How you doing, Miss Bell? Congratulations on your marriage as well, sweetheart. You and your husband, man, I wish y'all so much love and light. It's good when I hear about uh, people finding the, the true companion, you know what I'm saying, in this in this world of sin, in this world of craziness. But you found it. Man, I need my glasses from right there. Can you hand an old man the glasses, please, out that table? Because, uh... Yeah, you need them drops, bro. You a hater, man. Here I am. Here I am. Uh, blessings, blessings, blessings. So today, uh, am I enough is the opening topic. Blessings to each and everybody that may be tuning in. I got my boy... Big Derek with me, the public, the people, the supporters, they call him yeah, Bobby. Man. What's yeah. happening, Bobby? Come on, man, don't leave I'm me hanging up. too long. Uh, he done put all that cocoa butter on his hand. I got that butter on me, that shea butter. Boy, it's smelling like he finna slide off the line. <laughs> the butter keep your skin good and, and more. Man, stay out of my cocoa butter, man. That ain't for your moisturization. All right, my fault. Man. That ain't for your moisturization. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, can y'all hear me out there, man? Just give me a a, a good yeah if uh, y'all can hear me. Uh, Ms. What Tiff, up, Miss Tiff? She said, hey, Bobby. Oh, yeah, congratulations. congratulations. I, I told her congratulations, too. Right. Uh, what's up, Miss Courtney? How, how you doing, Queen? I see you. Uh, so, am I enough? Before I get into that, Bobby, you want to talk to him about anything real quick? I got to get my mood music. Oh. Okay. Before I, I got a whole shit. bunch of shit. I Go ahead, get, get it off my your chest. chest, man. Get it off your chest, I, man. I ain't a lot of y'all. I love all y'all women. Y'all ain't never did nothing wrong to me. A couple of y'all did, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. But yeah, we are. We ain't <laughs> talk about it. What the fuck they do? You're not here to you. talk about me right now. What they do to you, man? <laughs> what they do to you, man? I just want to let y'all know I love y'all regardless of y'all flaws and everything, cause y'all be doing some crazy ass shit to a good Christian. Man, pillar of the community like I told you, ain't no capping on my live. Huh? Ain't no capping on my live, man. Don't come here lying. Ain't no capping on my live. Uh, uh, we talking about being in love? I'm not talking about being in love uh -huh. right now. Not not solely. Okay. Not solely. But you know I love love. Oh, shit. That's good. what I advocate. Good. You know love, what I'm saying? Love. Blessings to everybody stepping in. Everybody stepping in. My name is Jermaine Hall. This is my partner. They call him Bobby, but this is Derek. AKA you know D Millie. I, the supporters call him Bobby. He done earned that name, character of the week. And, and, and D Millie. They do not call you D Millie, fool. Mm. I don't know why why he want to be I put a Millie on his name so bad. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't made a Millie. When you make a meal with me, when bruh. we make a meal, and we'll, I what, will gladly call bruh, you. They D know Millie. me on the meal, bro. Peaches we meal, bro. We do not know you from the our days, bro. Okay. You was not here. All right. But welcome. We, we're happy to have you. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Don't come in here kicking shit over. Sit down somewhere. Right. The meal is peaceful now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so I wanted to remind y'all that love is cool. I had a subject that doesn't strictly uh, pertain to love so much, but there's love involved. I had something cross my mind about pressure. We see these words women say a lot. He didn't apply enough pressure. Mm. Well, I want to counter that today and get in my comments. I want y'all to interact with me. Talk to me. That's why I'm here. If you disagree or if you see it a different way, say something. You know what I'm saying? But I thought about 
you ask me to apply pressure, but are you ready for the pressure to be applied? Right, right, right. Right, cause uh, I often see questions being asked they not ready for, and too much pressure can bust a pipe. You hear me? Too much pressure, but you gotta apply it mm -hmm. sparingly and and consistently, you know. But I thought about applying pressure. Right, they want the pressure, they want you to approach them, they want you to stay consistent, and then when it's like that, I've experienced this. Mm -hmm. I've experienced this. I've applied the pressure. I was very consistent, and then it was, damn, you ain't got no job. How many times you gonna text me good morning? Every fucking morning. We woke up again, didn't we? I like you, girl. Okay. I like you. You know what I'm saying? So have you experienced a woman kind of falling back after you was applying the proper pressure, and you like, damn, I gotta damn near ignore you just for you to understand that I like you. Yeah, I mean, definitely all the time, man. Like, it's like when you open up to too by somebody too fast, or you give them too much information because you're trying to be honest and mm. upfront. Mm. But a lot of times, you know, they don't always work out. They might run the other way because I wasn't ready for man, this. Like, mm -hmm. That's a little too much pressure, maybe, for that person. You know what I mean? That person. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, your, your boy, your, your boy D. Millie has been in this situation. <laughs> D. Who? Uh, D. Millie. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, <laughs> Miss Ashley, Miss Salter. Hello, Mrs. Salter. Salute to you, Queen. I see you. Uh, salute to you and hubby. That's right, and hubby. Blessings to that family. Uh, who else do we have in here? Mr. Timms. How you doing, sir? The Jack and G and Knowledge podcast every Sunday on IG. Please go and check it out. That's Jack and G and Knowledge. One Word, one spelling. Put that on silent for me, big oh, dog. Shit, my it's all good. It's Jack all good. Jim. It's all love. Jack and Jim. I really um, it, so I've uh, I've come to the conclusion that everything needs balance, right? Everything. Everything needs balance because and communication. Balance and communication. Simply because I've applied consistent pressure mm -hmm. before. I've applied the correct amount of pressure, which was making plans for that woman. Hello, Miss Rivera. Uh, <laughs> she said, you got to ignore us so we want your attention. That's crazy. That's, that's that ass true. backwards. That's so true, though. But I'm impatient with women like that. Not me. I I'm such a, a... I'm a... Play over, game. You play, play the game? I play the game. You I just do it. Let them lead. See, I don't. I don't want you. No, to lead no, me. not. It's not leading. It's just that is know? playing the game. That's kind of like me falling back, though. If I if I do like if I play that game, and like ignore you or do the opposite of what I'm trying to show you, mm -hmm. I'm pretty much almost giving up at that point. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So here's what I'll say to that: I don't play the game because I want to come in and set the tone for. There's a time and place for everything. Mm -hmm. I laugh a lot. I like to be, you know me to be a happy person over trying to be mad at some shit any day. I'll try to find the light in it before I get stupid angry. It takes me a while to get angry, but when I am, I'm stuck there for a minute. That's why I don't like to get angry. So I don't want a woman that is tiptoeing around after she done lured me in to to get me to this place of catering to you. You Go see ahead, what I'm bro. saying? I mean, yeah, the, the, and I know that's just like a general example of what you was just giving, but just say the same thing you do, the next 20, 25, 30 other niggas doing at the same time. So I don't blame her for feeling or doing or moving how she moving, but you can't move how you move and expect to get what you want. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care about the next man. I ain't asking about him. I don't want to talk about it unless you bring them up. Okay, I listen and we'll joke around, talk about. It. Mm -hmm. But I don't care what the next man doing because I'm focused on my time with you. Right, right, right. But I'm talking about communication. If she gonna fall back, tell me so I'm not in the way. Don't string me along. Uh, hello, Mr. Kedra Jones. Hello, Queen. Salute to you, me, Mr. Mrs. Ted King. Mrs. Jones. What's up, King? I see you, baby. Hey, we gotta uh, ah, we gotta boot oh, up for another show. Yeah, I gotta bring Looney through. We got to get busy, man. The king in the building, y'all see him. Um, so um, 
what I'm saying is the communication. I'm I communicate well. I can I can just say what it is. Sometimes I know opening my mouth gets me penalized. I might say the wrong thing, or I might. Are you supposed to care? I might. Ju- I do care. You supposed to care? I care. About I care. what you say. I care about what I say. But if you open, I care about what I say because it carries for so long in people's minds, and I have an image to protect. And I have a reputation to protect, and I damn sure want to be respected as I'm demanding people to respect me. Well, what I mean by that, like, I'm not saying. I'm not saying in a disrespectful manner, but if I'm saying if you tell some, if you got something you want to say to somebody, you know damn well they gonna like this shit. Like a female, per, prefer a female. <laughs> in it's this a case by case basis though. Sometimes you gotta say the hard thing. Well, I'm talking about like with a female that you're involved in that you want to mm-hmm. pursue. Mm-hmm. You know damn well she don't want to hear what you really gotta say or what you really want to say. So you saying you sugarcoat? I don't sugarcoat. I don't sugarcoat. I'm asking you because you said. That. Because the reason why I asked because you said you do think about and, and you some some shit you won't say. Yeah, it's some things because it's timing. Right, right. Timing. Because let's think about this. It's as simple as this. I see a beautiful woman, right? Mm-hmm. I approach. Is that the time to say I fuck the shit out of you? Unless she gave you that energy. Unless she trying to show you her mama raised a hoe. You see what I'm saying? Timing. Yeah. But if y'all been rocking for a while and y'all already been physical. And you whisper that in her ear, she'll take it a very different rate, correct? Yeah. That's what I mean by sometimes I bite my tongue because of timing. Right. right. Because you got to be intelligent anyway when communicating. But my thing is, it doesn't hurt my feelings for a woman to say, I'm going to go a different way. Mm-hmm. That doesn't hurt my feelings. I might not like it, mm-hmm. but I ain't going to carry no grudge with you because you chose, even if you choose one of the homies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want you to be happy. But that doesn't have to include me. That doesn't have to include... See, I was genuine when I put out... As much as I put out love on on, on the podcast and on uh, any platform I'm on, I really mean it when I tell people, man, I want to see y'all happy. But that don't have to include me. You can go to a car show without me. You ain't have to call me to be there. You know what I'm saying? But but post the pictures. I'm going to hit the love button on them. Uh, Miss Miss Revere says, "I think some women aren't self-aware enough to know that's how they are wired. That's true. Uh, that's true. What she mean, like women are wired? She or? she says some women don't know themselves well enough to communicate things like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. They they still working on themselves, and that's, that's okay. True. But even saying that, you're communicating with me if you're telling me I'm still working on myself. I got some flaws. You know what I'm saying? I go in when talking to a woman." Talking about my flaws, no, like I hold man, back now. I'm I, not. You hold back. Yeah, I hold back now, especially if it's a new person. I mean, and we know we vibing this. I'm not gonna give you everything right there no more. You know what I'm saying? Cause last, not the everything. last few times, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we've been open. Mm. Yeah, it ain't really work out. So I'm like, okay, well, all right, well, you'll know when it's time for you to know. Well, I'm gonna be honest too. I, I'll tell you what. I will hold back. I'll hold back a bunch of the information from past relationships Mm -hmm. because I feel like if you bombard them with everything from past relationships, it also, it kind of makes them feel like you're still stuck there mentally or you're emotionally unavailable. But that's just you talking about and being open. Well, I like to explain past relationships to a certain degree to tell them Mm -hmm. why I think the way I think or why I don't find this attractive. So why do you think they run though? Why do you think they run from that? I don't think they run. I think it's more so. Not everybody. But. Yeah, I don't. In the women that I've encountered, mm-hmm. I'm going to speak on, on on the behalf of. First, I'm going to read Miss Bell's uh, response. She says, say what's on your mind up front so it won't be no surprises in the end. And that's big. It's big, but that's she, big. she says that, right? That's cool. And, and I agree with that. But damn, are you, gonna, are you really ready to hear what you don't know that you're going to hear? They're not always ready. They think they be ready. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't be <laughs> ready. Right. I don't be ready for what some chicks. If be you like to me. that guy and he tells you that and you like, oh, I really liked him. Uh, mm. Yeah. And you messed it up opening your mouth. Right. Okay. But because later that could have been something that you found out later and y'all still together. Yeah, timing. But you live and you learn too. Mm-hmm. You live and you learn. You know, I I ain't never had no trouble in the area of females ever, mm-hmm. right? And that was 
solely based off of my personality and my ability to observe, whether it be body language, her mood, how she's speaking to me, or what's going on around us and how she reacts to it, right?